Hello, I'm Bradley. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to be talking about a hair pomade dressing. So it is a little bit different from one of the products which I would use because it doesn't have an ultra strong hull. But what it does have is a completely different kind of texture. It has a little bit more of a lighter sort of not so much of a firm grip hold. But what it does do is it conditions the hair really, really well and it looks after the hair. However, there are a few points I'm not so won over, but on the whole, I really, really like the product. It is this here. So it is the black and white genuine Paluco, I believe that's how you pronounce it, that's how I'm pronouncing it anyway, hairdressing pomade. Now I love a pomade, but this is very, very different to a normal pomade, what I would I would think would be a normal pomade anyway. So pomade, what do you want out of a pomade? So you want something which is going to look after the hair, give you really great shine, control, and hold. What this, uh, what the black and white genuine Paluco hairdressing pomade does is straight away you notice that it's a completely different texture to what I'm used to. It almost kind of reminds me of like uh, a Brill Cream type product because I'm being quite honest, I find the product a little bit difficult to wash out. But however, if you can try and put up with that and find a real nice good clarifying sort of, not stripping shampoo, but so it just takes a little bit more of the residue and the oils off of the hair. You do need a bit more of a firmer shampoo because it does have almost, I don't want to say heavy because the product doesn't feel heavy on the hair, but it does give a little bit of a sort of a, a waxy sort of residue after when you've tried to wash the product off. It possibly could be because I use a little bit too much. I mean, I've got the product in today and what I use is after I've got uh, freshly shampooed conditioned hair, then I blow dry my hair off. And then what I've done is I've lifted my hair up slightly in the front, um, just lifting the brush towards the ceiling with a blow dryer in the other hand and then directing that over. My hair is longer now. Um, and as you can see, I'm growing it out at the side. So then after when I'm finished I took about I want to say about a marble size amount of the pomade through my hands which you'll notice straight away is a completely sort of unique texture it's almost like a cream based product um and I, I want to kind of stay away from those ones because it doesn't necessarily feel heavy. It does feel like there is a little bit of residue left on the hair, which it does, but it does give ultimate shine and it does give a lot of control and hold. Not a firm sort of um, high strength hold, but it does give you a nice hold and it allows you to build texture, volume in the hair. What I really, really like is rubbing it through the roots and then pulling towards the lengths of the hair. And then that way you can sort of just whip the hair off to one side and then what I do is finish it off with a bit of free spray and it just holds my style then throughout the day. So an ultimately a really good product. Does it affect my scalp? No it doesn't. Is it uncomfortable to wear? No. Does it run down your forehead? Because of course it's a little bit more of a, it says a light product, but I'm going to get into that in just a moment and look at some of the ingredients with you. It does feel like it's a cream based product. So of course initially you would think that it would run down your forehead and it would make your sort of skin a little bit greasy. It doesn't do that at all. I mean I've had this in since very very early this morning and I haven't got any residue across my forehead at all. Um, another thing what I just want to point out is it doesn't, very often I find if you use a pomade what you do is you sometimes get a little bit of a um the product run towards the nape of your neck um i haven't got that at all again that could quite be because i use quite a lot of product but i haven't got that um so ultimately it stays where it's supposed to it doesn't cause sort of greasiness or a product build up around the ears um which is vitally important because i wear hearing aids so i can't really be having any product or anything um getting too close to my hearing aids either it doesn't sort of upset the nape of my neck and it doesn't sort of make my uh forehead uncomfortable or anything like that at all or any sort of itchiness irritating or anything like that at all which of course I always find it really important to put into my reviews because so many people do have different skin irritations and some people it may be fantastic and fine for me. Another person may find that it gives them a little bit of an irritation or they weren't so comfortable using it. So I like to just always give a little bit of a, a moment just to talk about that as well because of course it is so vitally important. Now what I, now to come clean with this product, I bought this product several years ago, used it once, absolutely hated the product and, and um, really didn't like it. In fact, I actually threw the product away. And that is because when I come to wash the product out, it was really, really difficult to get the product out of my hair. But I've been kind of experimenting with what shampoos now actually remove the product better than others. So I found that a clarifying shampoo, and you may think a little bit more of a stronger, I don't want to use the word abrasive, um, but a product which you know is a little bit more stripping on the hair. Because for example, the hair around sort of the round of the nape of my neck and everything, I use a little bit more at the moment because it's longer. 
that. So I use a little bit more of the plumbing to slide everything down nice and nice and sort of swooping down straight here. Um, but of course, ultimately, what that does is it means that because you've got more product here, you've got to have to be a little bit careful how you remove the product. Because the last thing you want to be doing is leaving any sort of residue in after you've washed the product and then starting the day again, because of course that's not good for clogging up hair follicles and that's not good for your skin as well, because then you may get a little bit of an irritation. So I do find that using a little bit more of a stronger shampoo is more beneficial with this because it strips the product out a little bit more for you. However, having said that, it doesn't dry the hair out after you've used it, because what this does is really looks after the hair. Um, and it keeps the hair really quite nourished, I have to admit. Now, just picking up on some of the ingredients on here as well, it does have, it ha uh, bear with me, where are we? Petroleum, I think that's how you pronounce it, synthetic wax paraffin, um, and we've got a few other sort of science ingredients, and we've got a fragrance in the end here as well. So it is quite sort of of a waxy, creamy product, and it does hang about. And um, let's have a look a little bit on the packaging here. So it says the Long Hold Control Ultra White Blend. Black and white genuine Paluco is a versatile hairdressing that allows you to mold, sculpt, and create texture. It does that absolutely. It is a firm but pliable, giving a long hold control that lasts all day. It certainly does that as well. Simply work a small amount of genuine Paluco into your hair from the roots through the mid lengths and to the ends with your fingertips and start to achieve achieve desired effect. So again, all of that absolutely true. I would completely agree with that. It works fantastically well. It does give texture, it does give uh, sort of fullness in the hair, and it does give you a really ultimate shine. Fantastic. Full ticks all the way through. Now, let's move on to a little bit here. I just wanted to pick up on, so where were we? So, and again, what we've just got pointed out to us on here at the moment as well is suitable for vegans. You don't often see that, I have to admit, on many hair products, or personally I don't, perhaps it's just because I'm not looking for it, but I think that's really quite cool to have that on there as well. And just pointing out that we have got, that I wanted to point out on here, can't find it now, but anyway, couldn't have been that important if I've misplaced. <laughs> so we get 50 mils for this on here. In terms of price, it is around the five pounds mark. You can get it a lot cheaper than that. And sometimes you can get it around about just over the five pounds mark as well. So it is certainly good value for money. It's certainly a good quality product. When you have the product just like this, you can really tell that there's a lot of quality behind it. There's that assurance that it's a good brand, that it's a good product. It's got some heritage behind it. So really, really good. It's a bit of a traditional product to use, of course, as well. So it's really nice. As you can see, I've got it in today and it does just really control control everything really nicely. It makes everything have a real nice shine. And I've got that nice sort of hold, as you can see in my hair, and everything looks really nice and swooped over, nice sort of volume texture. Really, really like this product. As I say, the only downfall for me is getting the product out is a little bit bothersome, but if you can put up with that, it really does look after the hair. Because what I like, after you've you shampooed twice, now you may think that's crazy, but it's not. Because very often I actually do shampoo my hair twice, once, and that's to remove all the product out of the hair, and then the second time, so the ingredients in the shampoo get to work on the hair and the scalp. It works wonders. So your first one to remove any product, your second one to get those ingredients in your shampoo to work on your scalp and your hair. After that, after using this product, if I if, say, for example, I've used it a little bit too much, and I've used quite a lot in here, which, hold my hands up, I have done, and it makes it even more difficult to get out, it leaves the hair, once you've, once you've got the product out, it leaves the hair really nourished and moisturised, almost like you've had an oil in the hair, so you can really feel those sort of ingredients, which are quality, of course, but possibly a little bit heavy. It says a light hairdressing. For me, personally, I wouldn't class it as a light hairdressing. I think that it is a little bit more heavier than that, but it doesn't stop you from creating good volume, good texture, and the ultimate hold, which, of course, if the product was really, really sort of quite heavy, you wouldn't necessarily be able to do that. So what I would probably say is it just clings to the hair more, so it glides through your hair more, and it allows you to sort of, as I've done, give a more of a polished sort of sheen look. So if you're into your 1950s sort of pompadour styles, those sort of Elvis Presley-inspired looks, then it's going to be a great product for you to use. Packaging-wise, looks really, really cool, I think. Price-wise, absolutely brilliant. It's a good quality product. Um, the smell is of a real fresh sort of coconut fragrance. It's really, really nice. Um, 
and an all-round really great product. Unfortunately, the only sort of little drawback would be just washing that product out, which sometimes holds a little bit of a concern for me. But however, some people may use just a small little bit and you would get away with it absolutely fine. If you do use a little bit more, just be prepared that you would have to do a little bit more sort of um, preparation on the hair and a little bit more of a cleanse or a deeper cleanse on the hair afterwards. So what hair would this be great for? So short hair would be really, really great, creating some loose texture, some loose spikes throughout the hair as well. If you've got longer hair, like myself, or even longer, because I've just recently had a recent haircut, um, then it would work really, really well to do that sort of Toulouse sort of wave in the hair. Um, if you wanted to slick it all back, then certainly fantastic for that as well. Or if you wanted to use a blow dryer and then use a little bit after you've used the blow dryer, so you've got that voluminous look, what I've got today, using a little bit through your hands and then from the roots, pulling it out towards the lengths and then sweeping it over and then spraying with a free spray, work perfect as well. So all around lots of benefits to be had with this product, lots of styles to try as well. Ultimately all around a really good product. So I hope you've really enjoyed this clip, I certainly have. It's a product which stays in my sort of go-to armory of products to use. Um, as I say, several years ago I did throw it away, me and my twin brother have used this and back then we both agreed that it was a real difficult product to use. But however now, giving the product a second chance, I've been using it on and off for a little while now and it is super, super cool and looks after my hair and scalp really really nicely it may well be that i've got longer hair now to be quite honest with you as well because back then i had shorter hair so it would be really quite interesting to see what sort of certain people think was shorter and longer hair um but something possibly just to bear in mind that it is a little bit more of a he heavier product but not too heavy but just takes a little bit more work to get out of your hair but not in a negative way you could more or less say a little bit more of an old-fashioned style, style of product which needs a little bit more to sort of cleanse the hair but hey not an issue at all, just something to be aware of, of course. Okay, so thank you very much indeed for sharing uh, this clip with me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your company. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye for now.